You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you're new to me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace Case, Case Case Path. Got it right this time, yes. Alright guys, let's just go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertainment. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up and let's go. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Alright. They weren't paid to be my friends. They were paid to work for my father and just happened to end up becoming my friends. The lizard shrugs. Uh, God, what voice did I do for him? Oh, tomato, tomato. Anyway, how can I help you? Been a while since you last stopped by. And whose fault was that? You're the one who dropped me. The lizard grins, wrapping his arm around Kaken's neck and poking his cheeks. Keisuke, for his part, is showing a remarkable amount of patience, merely glaring at the lizard. Hey, if you want to be a good guitarist, then you're going to have to experiment. I can't, I can't just up and teach you everything. Don't tell me you come here today to ask for more lessons. With a low growl, Keisuke pushes the lizard's arm away, stepping away from the man's massive body. Not even if hell freezes over. If Kyoshi does a, does a mock pout, staring at Keikun as if the hare had just killed his puppy. Aw, don't be like that, Kei-chan. Uncle Kiyoshi still loves you very much. There's no need to be so moody. Um, I have no idea what's going on here. Keisuke speaks through gritted teeth, clenching his fist. Kiyoshi-san, would you mind not acting like an idiot in front of my friend? Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud, Kei-chan boy. Your little friend here ought to learn the truth about you sooner or later. Truth? The man wraps his arms wraps his arms around Kaken again, bending his knees so his head is level with Keisuke's. And it starts rubbing his cheeks against his. The hair is grinning widely. Keisuke, on the other hand, looks just about ready to commit murder. The truth is, Kei-chan and I used to be... Lovers. What? Just as I attempt to wrap my head around such a revelation, Keisuke punches the lizard full force in the stomach, making the guy double over in pain. Stop joking around, you bastard! You're going to give him the wrong idea! The guy coughs while holding his stomach, looking up at Kaken with a pained grin on his face. You're terrible, Kei-chan. Don't make me slug you again. Whoa, Kaken, what are you doing? Oh, relax, he's just faking it. This might not look this might not look like it, but his muscle is so much muscle that he wouldn't feel anything. My hand is the only thing that hurts. There's an immediately stands upright, looking at us with a disappointed expression. Oh, you figured it out. What? Kiyoshi-san, can we please just cut this little theater short to short already? Kiyoshi smiles widely, opening his arms up. Oh, all right then. Can I at least get a hug first? Ow, 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 you don't have to glare at me like that. It's so intense that it hurts. Well, I don't mind stopping it anyway. I already got to make you mad, so I'm definitely all set. Maybe I should punch you one more time for good measure. That's fine by me, but it... But I think you just end up hurting your hand. Well, if Alex were here, then it'd be another story. Um... Can someone explain to me what the hell just happened? Those are turns to look at me, smiling deviously. Certainly. You see, Kei-chan and I... No! No, he's already heard enough of your explanations. Kei-chan Kei turns to look at me. Kiyoshi-san is a friend of my father. My father introduced me to him a few years back. But I decided that I wanted to play guitar. Kiyoshi-san handled the negotiations over the guitar that I have, and he also gave me lessons when I first started. He's also an incredibly annoying person with no sense of tact, personal boundaries, or just common decency. And he enjoys getting a rise out of people, looking for, always looking for ways to provoke them and make them blow up. Kiyoshi pouts. That's cruel, Kei-chan. I'll have you know that I only provoke the people that I like. Yeah, yeah, I could do without that affection of yours, though. I wonder how much truth there was to what he said. Hmm, interesting. Lizard smiles, patting Kaken on the shoulder. His supposedly light tapping is enough to make the hair stumble. Well, I've already gotten my fun out of it, so what can I help you with today? Kaken adjusts himself, dusting off the area of his shirt that had gotten touched by the lizard. There's a big handprint on it. You could start by washing your hands after messing around with cleaning products. You are polishing your guitar again, weren't you? The lizard smiles. Something like that. Yeah, don't worry. The stain will come right off. Here, let me show you. What? Kaken jumps away just before the lizard manages to touch his shirt again. You bastard, you were going to rub the stain, the stain with your hand to stain it even further, weren't you? Kyoshi smiles deviously. What? Me? I would never. So you guys like those growls? I'm gonna keep dishing them out. I don't care. Just go wash your hands already. The lizard waves his words off uninterested. Yes, yes, I see that your highness is still just as fussy as always. 
This is why you can't bind yourself a girlfriend. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Wash hands now. <laughs> Here she laughs thunderously, walking away to the back of the store. Only now do I notice a couple of people inside the store have been staring at us the whole time. The store is quite packed, and most of the people look at us with pity in their eyes. Of course, there are some that stare at us as if we were complete lunatics, which I thought would be the more normal reaction. Um... Keisuke notices my gaze and recomposes himself. Don't worry about it, most of the people that have come here are regulars. They already, they're already up to speed with Kiyoshi-san's antics. Keiken then looks at the stain on his shoulder, his shoulder sagging at the sight. Ha! Huh. And this was one of my favorite shirts, too. This is going to be a bitch to clean. I don't bother pointing out to the fact that he has a ton of servants and he probably doesn't wash his own clothes already. Hey, Kei-chan, I'm back! The lizard tries to grab Keisuke from behind again, but the hare ducks behind him and flees. Kiyoshi-san, your hands are soaking wet. Well, you told me to wash them, you didn't tell me to dry them off afterwards. Ugh, you're such a piece of work. Whatever, can you just do your job and help me out already? The man immediately straightens himself, his entire facial expression morphing into a more serious look. Of course. What are you looking for? If it's guitar lessons, I've already told you that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't teach them. You won't teach me anymore. I know that much. That's not why I come over today. Oh? Lizard arches an eyebrow, staring inquisitively at Keikun. I'm looking for a mic, preferably USB. I don't want to deal with an XLR connection or with a giant sound suite taking up space in my room. Lizard smiles knowingly. You can buy a USB mic just about anywhere. You must want something more specific for you to come to me. What is it? I want to record m myself singing. Just then, the entire earth is shaken by the lizard's booming laughter. Of course, the earth didn't really shake, but it certainly felt like it. Oh my, this is just precious. Little Kei-chan fancies himself a singer now. What with that bored, annoying voice of yours? Keiken frowns, clenching his fists. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have come here. Come on, Yuichi san let's leave. Hey, 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 hold your horses there. I was just joking around. Sure, I can help you find a good mic. How much are you willing to spend? Of course, I don't have to tell you that prices, that price doesn't always mean quality, but in most cases, the more dough you're willing to shell out, the better the quality mic you'll get. I'm aware. Price isn't really an issue. What sort of mic would you recommend for an amateur rock singer? Hmm. Lizard puts a finger to his chin, turning around to glance over at his entire store. It's as if his eyes are scanning everything he, everything they can see. Ah, I know just the thing. He walks away for a minute before returning with a slick black box. This one here is a thing of beauty. It's a semi-professional mic that should get you through most of anything. It doesn't have boosted gains in any frequency, so it might not be the perfect fit for rock, but it's crisp and clear and it can be used for almost any genre. Plus, with friends and family, with a friends and family discount, it's a steal. The man winks at Keisuke, who seems too, in a, who seems too interested in the box he carries to care about it. Yeah, I think this will do. Keisuke reaches out for the box, but Kiyoshi snatches it away. What now? Keichan, I believe I taught you better than that. How can you buy an expensive piece of hardware without testing it out first? Keiken sighs, accepting his fate. Fine, can I use one of your studio rooms for a few minutes while I test it? Oh, and I'll have to borrow a computer, of course. The lizard smiles. Nope. <laughs> Keiken frowns, looking at the lizard with confusion. What do you mean, no? How am I supposed to test this thing, then? Just let me use one of the rooms around. If it's a matter of money, then I... The man gestures for KSK to settle down, still smiling. Geez, relax, kid. You're way too young to be this high-strung over everything. I can't let you use a room because they're all occupied. And considering the size of my waiting list, it'd still be a few, quite a few hours before I have an opening. That's just perfect. You tell me you won't let me buy it without testing, but you won't let me test it. The lizard, still smiling, makes a sound while, pur while pursing his lips. Oh, my sweet, sweet child. I never said I wouldn't let you test it, did I? What are you suggesting? I have my personal laptop with me, and it's got the latest in recording and mixing software. You can test it right here at the counter. What? Kaken freezes, staring at the lizard in astonishment. Meanwhile, Kiyoshi looks incredibly amused by the hare's reaction, waving his hand in front of Keisuke's face. Hello, we're at the K-chan. Are you still there? Kaken pushes his hand away. Just to be sure, you're not suggesting that I sing here in front of the store, are you? Kiyoshi smiles widely. Ding, 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 we have a winner! Are you insane, you bastard? There's no way I'm going to sing in public. Why not? If you're going to buy a microphone to record yourself singing, then you must have at least some degree of confidence in your voice, right? Then why not sing here? But confidence has nothing to do with this. Lizard crosses his arms, looking haughtily down at Keisuke. Confidence has everything to do with it. What's the point of recording it if you're going, if you're going, never going to publish it? 
I thought you were going to sing and upload it to the internet. Don't tell me you were going to record it just for the sake of recording. Well... Here she shakes his head in disapproval, groaning in an overly dramatic manner. Bah, not this again. It's the same as when, I th as when I taught you to play guitar. I told you to join a band because you had serious talent, but you just refused to put yourself out there. I have no interest in joining a band in the first place. And if I just and if I de dedicated that much time to it, then I would just hurt my chances with... Lizard waves his hand in dismissal, easily shutting Keisuke up. Yeah, yeah, it would hurt your chances with tennis. I've heard that excuse a million times before. Excuse? It's an excuse? It's not an excuse. You're just mad because I want to become a tennis player instead of a musician. Oh? I smile widely. The, smiles, the smile widens, suddenly looking incredibly smug. What is it? What's with that look on your face? Oh, it's nothing. I was just wondering. Wondering what? Since when you've become such a poor liar? Keisuke chokes at the wizard's words. Meanwhile, Kiyoshi stands there looking incredibly proud of himself. When did I lie? You want to be a tennis player instead of a musician? That's a bull and you know it. I've seen the look on your face when you're playing the guitar. It's nothing like the look you have when you're playing tennis. And when did you ever see me playing tennis? Don't be stupid. You're my best friend's kid. You think I'd stop keeping and keeping an eye on you just because you stopped coming to my store? I've been watching over you since you were born. Keisuke chokes again, staring wide at the lizard. That's a lie. My father sent me away because he wanted nothing to do with me. He only took me back years later when he found out he couldn't have another heir. Ha! Huh, couldn't have another heir. Are you even listening to yourself? Your dad could have as many kids as he wants to. The only reason he hasn't remarried is because he knows your grandmother will put will push to get rid of you if he has another child before you take over the company. He's staying single and childless to assure you continue to be provided for and that you get the chance to inherit the company. And he only sent you away because your grandmother wanted him to. Hasn't he told you this before? That's a lie! Keisuke's sudden shouting attracts the attention of everyone in the store, and even, a few pe and even of a few of the people in the street. Kyoshi and I stare at him wide-eyed as he breathes heavily, looking at the lizard with eyes full of hostility. Cage. Don't cage hand me. You honestly expect me to believe this crap? My father left me and my mom to live in poverty for years, forbidding my mom from even telling me I had a father after all, a father at all. Then he shows up out of the balloon one day and takes me away from my mom to force me to inherit a stupid company that I never wanted to have anything to do with. And you expect me to believe that he's some benevolent figure that, all, that wants my best? Cut the crap. We both stand rooted to our spots, staring in shock and awe at Keisuke. There's one vein in his forehead that's pumping so much that it looks about ready to pop. He's breathing heavily after his outburst, trying to catch his breath once again. Um, I really don't think this is the sort of conversation you should be having in front of an unrelated person like me, or in public. It's alright, yubichi san this conversation is over anyway. Keisuke immediately turns around and begins walking out the store, with Kiyoshi scrambling to catch up to him. Whoa, 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 hold your horses there, kid, why are you leaving? I didn't come to be preached at. I came here to buy a product from someone I trust and I trust to know what he's talking about. But if you'd rather criticize me for my life choices, then I can take my business elsewhere. Sheesh, you're so pissy. I really wonder how you're ever going to get a girlfriend. Keisuke blushes. First, that's none of your business. Second, shut up. Kiyoshi chuckles, giving Keisuke a few encouraging taps on his shoulder. All right, I promise I won't, I won't criticize or do anything else of the sorts, okay? So just stick around and test, that mi and test the mic you wanted. Will you get me a room in your studio to test it? Jeez, these two are quick to get at each other's throats and quick to make up, too. And here I thought the mood was going to stay heavy. Sorry, kid. I already told you that all my rooms are booked. If you want to test it, you're going to have to do it at the counter. Plus, it's not like I offer my studio rooms for people who want to test products. Everyone tests at the counter. But last time I came here, you let me test the guitar at the studio. Yep, I sure did, because you're an exception. Don't get me wrong. I'll let you use one of the private rooms if any of them were free. But since they're not, you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to do the same thing everyone else does. I'd rather I'd really rather not sing in public. Hey kid, you there in the tennis shirt and the stupid look. Me? Of course you, of course it's you. Is there anyone else standing next to us other than you? What do you mean stupid look? Um, what is it? Kay seems to consider you a good friend if he chose to bring you here instead of Alex. Who's Alex? The man frowns, staring at me in dismay. You don't even know Alex? Shit, kid, when did you meet Kay? Yesterday? Well, I... He waves me off. You know what? Never mind. Not important. You ever heard Kay sing before? I heard from his father that he has a group of friends he's been he's been going out with quite frequently for a while now. You in that group? You in that group? If so, you kids ever go to karaoke? Well, yeah, we, we've gone to karaoke since, with, since once with him before. His smile widens as he looks awfully pleased at hearing this. Perfect! Now, would you say that Kay here is at least passable as a singer? Well, I wouldn't say passable. So you're saying he's no good? That's not what I'm saying. 
ZK, your friend says you're at least halfway decent. That's already a lot better than most of the people who come by to buy mics. You'll be fine. Can this guy let me finish at least one sentence? I'm not sure if that's a good I if that's a good way to convince me. For Christ's sake, kid, just pick up the damn mic and sing a song. Doesn't have to be good. We only want to see if the mic's good for your type of voice. All right, all right, fine. Stop nagging me about it already. Kyoshi smiles. That's the spirit. Well, mostly. I'd still have preferred a little more enthusiasm, but I guess this'll do. I'm gonna hook this to my computer. Be back in a few. Kyoshi-san walks away, going behind the counter and fiddling with a bunch of cables and boxes. That guy's intense. Yeah, sorry about that. If you let Kyoshi-san get started, then he'll talk your ears off for hours. Can't even get a word in edgewise. I'm kidding. I guess people like that exist, huh? I'll have to say, it was kind of funny when he was talking to Keiken like that, but once he started cutting me off all the time, it got kind of annoying pretty fast. Are you really going to test the mic in the middle of the store? Keisuke shrugs, frowning. Don't really have a choice. If I don't do what Kiyoshi send once, then I'll never then I'll never hear the end of it. Couldn't you just not couldn't you just not come over to see him anymore? Didn't he say you guys hadn't seen each other in years? He knows where I live. He just avoids visiting because he hates my grandmother. But I'm sure if I pissed him off enough, he'd come over just to rant at me. Honestly, I'm surprised he never dropped by once in the past three years. But from what I hear, my father still visits him quite often. Yeah, that thing about your father, um... Listen, I'd appreciate it if you pretended to never have heard that, okay? My relationship with my father is tense. Despite Kiyoshi-sen trying to convince me otherwise, I live with my father and I know what kind of person he is. I'd rather keep him as uninvolved with my life as possible. So I'd rather not so I'd rather not to include him in any conversations with my friends, okay? It's one of the few places in my life where I don't have to deal with his influence. Um, okay. An awkward silence looms over us afterwards. I can't think of a single thing to say, and Kaken just pouts the whole time. He's definitely not in any mood to talk, but he still waits patiently for Kiyoshi-san to call us over. When he finally does, the lizard hands Kaken a big black microphone with a silver-colored bulbous head. There you go. This is the Zarel ZMP7501. It's a decent mid-range dynamic mic with a built-in with a built-in pop filter at the head, so you can hold it in your hands and sing into it. Uh, sing into it instead of building it into a mic stand. I need to have a bunch of different parts. Of course, you can still use a mic instead of stand if you want, but you don't have to worry about a pop filter at least. Do you have any song in mind that you want to try? I have a bunch of different karaoke on my computer here, and I can I can load one for you in a jiffy. Well, to be honest, I plan on testing it with a song I wrote myself. Kiyoshi-san grins widely, grabbing Keisuke's neck and rubbing the top of his head while the hair tried to free himself. You dog! It's a love song for the girl you like, isn't it? Of course not, I don't even like any girls. Oh, so it's for the guy you like then. It's okay, I don't judge. Keisuke elbows, elbows him in the gut making the lizard immediately double over in pain whilst the hair jumps away. It's not like that. I stop goofing around while in public already. I don't want to see this song. I'm going to keep going. Kyoshi Sanrio's fruit is wheezing, trying to catch his breath, hacking and coughing in pain. K-K, that was a bit uh, too hard. He looks to be genuinely in pain. I start to worry about him. Shit, Keikun, do you have to hit him that hard? Oh, please, how many times do you think you pulled this trick on me before? You really think I'd still fall for it? And you're trying it twice on the same day? Have some creativity. Yoshi-san immediately stands upright, rubbing the back of his head and sticking his tongue out cheekily. Oh, you figured it out. What? You were faking it again? Oh, excuse me, like I said, this guy is built like a rock. The only one that's in pain is me. My elbow really hurts. You sure you're alright? You hit me kind of hard there. You didn't break a bone or anything. Hey, isn't this kind of backwards? Why is the person that just hit, that just got hit worried about that assailant hurt him? Worried about that, worried that his assailant hurt himself hitting him? See, he's completely fine. There's no reason for you to worry, Yuichi-san. I see. This guy is way too much for me to handle. I don't know how Keikun does it. Can I borrow a guitar? Acoustic if possible. Oh, didn't know, didn't, didn't know you knew how to play an acoustic guitar. It's the same thing for the most part. It's just going to be a little fatter. Kyoshi smiles, diving behind his counter to pull up a beautiful, incredibly shiny guitar. Well, sure, but the grip can be a little tricky if you're not used to it. Also, this one is my baby, so be careful with it, okay? Keisuke grabs hold of the guitar carefully inspecting every nook and cranny of it. All right, this one is great. Mind if I check the tuning? Go right ahead. But I believe you will find that it's already tuned. Keisuke nods and starts strumming the strings of the guitar. Actually, the G and the E strings are slightly out of tune. They need to be fixed. Kiyoshi-san immediately slouches, staring down at Keisuke in dismay. Seriously? I thought for sure it was, imper it was perfect this time. Sorry, no. Wait a second, why are you just taking Keikun's word for it? Don't get me wrong, he's my friend, but... Don't you have years of experience over him? Shouldn't you know more about this than he does? Kiyoshi-san purses his lips, looking slightly miffed. Sure, I have more experience, but experience just can't make up for something else that he has. And that is... K 
Keisuke looks up at me and he's, and it's as if he just now realized something. Oh, Yuichi-san, I never told you. I have perfect pitch. Perfect pitch? It means he's capable of accurately detecting changes in pitch, no matter how minor, and perfectly name each different key as accurately as, mach as a machine, if not more accurately. That's why, I, that's why I so badly wanted for him to become a musician. It's not every day that you find someone who has that. Having perfect pitch doesn't mean that I'd be a good musician, though. Identifying a note and making music are two very different things. Well, sure, but it would at least make a lot make a lot of your life easier. Having perfect pitch would make me an incredibly annoying bandmate. I'd be able to detect any mistakes made by my colleagues, however slight they might be. Anyone would go crazy if I cons if I consistently and mercilessly pointed out every single minor mistake they made. You think so? I myself would love to have a bandmate that could guide me to absolute perfection. That's because you're not normal by any definition of the word. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, kid. That wasn't a compliment! I can't decide whether these two get along well or not. And then again, this isn't this kind of a more extreme version of his relationship with Shuichi? Without the mutual antagonism. KSK adjusts the strings and tests them out a few more times before exhaling in triumph. Alright, these are perfect. Kiyoshi-sen, could you place the mic on a stand for me? Way ahead of you, kid. Kiyoshi-sen pushes a black mic stand towards KSK. Is this high enough? It has to be a little lower than your mouth since it also has to capture the guitar. Yeah, it's perfect. Keisuke readjusts himself in his seat, holding the guitar with utmost care, almost as if he were holding a small child. Keisuke knocks on the guitar softly a few times, silently doing a countdown to himself. Kiyoshi-san presses a button on his laptop, and I see it has begun to record. Ooh. Hey, look at all the other people! Sitting on a small wooden bench in the middle of the store, Keiken starts to strum his guitar. A soft melody echoes from the instrument, suddenly filling the room with its gentle tune. The faint scent of dust, the humidity in the air, the buzzing sound of the people happily chatting by just outside. I notice them less and less as he continues to play. All my senses begin to tune into that melody. My body can sense nothing more. This feeling is new and yet oddly familiar. I know that when I first heard June playing, it was something like that. But while, June was a, but while June's was a soft melody that quietly wormed its way into your heart, Case Case was a gentle song full of passion that stole your senses away. Almost as if he was screaming, look at me. And as the intro to the song ended, Keisuke turned his head away from the mic to swallow once. When he turned back and opened his mouth, his voice suddenly echoed through the room, hitting me like a hitting me like hitting me like space had just exploded. Even though he wasn't particularly trying to do it, his voice commanded so much respect it demanded attention. You could not hear him sing and not watch him intently. Such a thing was just such a thing just wasn't allowed. The people in the store noticed him immediately, completely stopping what they were doing to watch him in awe. Some people walking the streets outside heard his voice and quietly walked inside. But if one thing was for sure, it said all those in the makeshift audience were left completely stunned, unable to take their eyes off of him. Even though this was just an improvised performance. No, this can't even be called a performance. Case K is just trying out a new mic. But even then, as soon as he begins to sing, it's as if he is drawn into a completely different world. One where only he exists. Even if he wasn't confident in his voice before, the instant he began performing, his presence simply filled the room. He exuded confidence. I'm gonna pause it right there. Damn, that was excellent. That guitar, ooh, that was nice. so well done. Oh, and all the background characters, so detailed. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that notification bell. Have a super thanks for it. If you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!